Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flex Studios, and this is another tutorial on Unity 3D. This one, I'm going to show how to create a light switch that just turns on a, a light on and off. And this is an example. You can go to this URL uh, you can see in the video, and it will be posted in the description. So basically, all it is a uh, third person, the built in third person controller and a light switch on the wall. Click it, turns off, click it, turns on. It's as simple as it is. I will be taking requests for some uh, additional complexity uh, if somebody has some ideas. Um, okay, let's get started. Um, I have done some prep work, some very, very basic prep work on this uh, project. All I did was create a new project, import terrain assets, the terrain standard asset and the character controller. And then available for download are all of the models, the house, the light fixture, the, the light plate, and the, uh, okay, and the room is the house. And then I have two sounds that are the on and off switch. Um, and and that's all we need. I also just created a blank um, file for the code and opened up Visual Studio just to have it ready. Okay, so first off we're gonna bring the room into the scene and then the texture, the texture on it, and I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but the ground like blinks when you move. So what I'm gonna do is raise the Y position by 0 0.01, so it's just above the ground, so we don't get that, that blinking of the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna add the light plates. And as you can see, it's gigantic. But you'll notice that the input, the scale factor is one. For the room, the scale factor must be 0 0.01. That's very important, or else it's going to be huge. You can just scale it down, but at 0 0.01, it's a good size. Uh, at a scale factor of one for the light plate, it's a little oversized, but we can scale it down pretty easily. I pressed R to get the scale handles and then the center one does it uniformly across all the axes. And then W does the uh, position and then I'm just scaling it down a little bit more. I'm going to reposition it just a tad. And now we got it good position on the wall. Now you'll notice it is grossly oversized. That's just to show how to actually do the switch moving up and down just so we can actually see it moving. Um, so to do that uh, basically what I'm going to do is create a cube Scale it down with R, bring it down. I'm going to line it up. Actually, I'm going to parent it. I'm going to child it to the light plate. And then I'll reset, the, reset everything so it's right there. Scale it down. Oops. And I'm using WASD and Q and R, or Q and E rather, to move around. Uh, while holding right click, that is. W to get the transform handle. Right clicking to move around. I'm going to press R to scale on the X axis and on the Y. And then W, move it up. 
so it actually looks like Okay, it's in the on position if it's up. So let's put it at the bottom. And what we're also going to do is create an empty game object, child it to the light plate as well, and name it down position. And then take the, uh, let's see, we want the cube's y position. And actually, I'm going to rename cube to toggle let's see just which yeah just to switch and then we take the y position of switch and set that to um, the y position of down position the game object called down position going to reset everything in the game object though and then set the y position to what I set the y position of the, of the cube that we named switch to and then I'm going to raise it up to the on position and create another game object child it reset everything name it up position take the y chord, uh, position value of the cube that we call switch when it's in its on position and set that to the, up, the y's up position so we can later use these as locations to to snap that part of the light switch for the on and off. Okay, so a little bit more prep. We also have a light fixture. So I'm going to bring that into the scene. I'm going to do a sh uh, control shift F. And then that brings it. Okay, I'm going to reset rotation. Okay, I will get this object fixed before I distribute it. But for right now, I will use it. So we want it on the. I'm at 90 degrees on the x axis, or rather, negative 90 degrees. So it's on the top. And then go back in here to the building. Okay, there it is. Let's see. I'm going to move it on the x going to position it in the middle of the room. I don't have a texture for this or the light switch right now. I will work on that. If anybody wants to create a texture and donate it to us so that other people can benefit, that would be more than appreciated. Uh, just leave a message, private message me on YouTube and I'll give you my email and I will of course give you credit and everything. Okay, so that's positioned okay. We're also going to add a game object, a point light, and we're going to child it to the fixture and then reset the position. And then raise it up to be right below that actual fixture. And then as you can see, it also lights up the room. If you toggle it on and off, you can see the difference. And that's essentially all we're going to do in the script, is toggle this on and off based on clicking this. So, Let's see. Now let's get this on the actual wall. OK. 
Okay, so now we're pretty much prepared. I'm going to bring the third person controller in as well and set his Y position to 1 to 1. Bring him at right about there and rotate him. 90, let's see, 180 degrees, so he's facing the switch. Play it right now and see how it works. Oh, okay, we have to set the animations. Just take a moment, okay. Idle, walk, run, and jump. Okay, well that's a little over 10 minutes that, uh, well I don't know if that came through, the knocks on the door. I was interrupted for a few minutes and I don't exactly remember where I left off, but I'm pretty sure I had pressed play and the animations didn't work. And I added the animations, uh, press play again, okay, so he can now idle and we click on that and nothing happens of course. Okay, so because I'm a little over 10 minutes and I have to leave right now, I will continue in the next with the code. And that will be a very short video because this is about 30 lines of code. If you want a sneak peek, oh, never mind, no sneak peek because I didn't write it yet. Alright, thank you and I'll see you in the next.